this is Don Williams. And this little movie was inspired by the color space communications through image views, uh, particularly the one that Roy Burns uh, brought up about the new ET RGB. I was curious because he posted the pro color profile, what that color profile looked like in a 3D LAB space or in a YXY color space compared to the more common ones, sRGB, ProPhoto, and Adobe RGB. So I decided to use one of my very popular and, and tools called uh, ColorThink from Chromix. It's great for visualizing color spaces, especially in the 3D world, something that we un don't usually see because everything is two-dimensional with respect to uh, publications and screens. So what you're seeing here is a very simple LAB space, three-dimensional. You can see there's a grid. The axes are labeled up down as the L star, dark to white. Uh, and then you see the A star and B star axes floating around there. You'll see in the upper left, I have already populated, ready to be viewed, what sRGB, Adobe RGB, ProPhoto, and the one Roy Burns suggested, ET RGB. Uh, so this is really meant as a brief tutorial and visualization tool to help understand the three-dimensionality of these color spaces by themselves and relative to one another. <clears throat> I'll try to keep my comments to a minimum. I will be doing the controls to allow up, down, zoom in of the different color spaces. Uh, like I said, we're going to be using the LAB one here. You can see down here, I can toggle these to other coordinate systems X, Y, Y. In fact, I'll show you that right now. <clears throat> you can see how that works. But well, not too fast there. So we'll go back to the LAB one. <clears throat> so the first one I'll be showing is sRGB. I will toggle it on. And by the way, it will be the surfaces it'll be showing are flat. Uh, I can change these to smooth ones or not. Uh, and by the way, you'll see that the gamut will be projected down on the basement floor here. Uh, we're we'll going to do in a true color. Uh, the first one I'll be showing is sRGB. And there it is. I'll just let it float around a while. Again, these colors on here are faceted. This is just a rendering tool. If we wanted, I could always just hit smooth and you get a different perspective on it. So this is the three dimensionality of sRGB. For those of you more familiar with the uh, other coordinate system, so there's that ellipse and there's the sRGB. And by the way, if we just take that into more familiar two space, Go back to the LAB. Now, I will now go and toggle on. I'm going to toggle off sRGB and I'm going to put these in comparison to one another. Here's Adobe RGB, somewhat higher. I'll increase the opacity and use the smooth. <clears throat> I'm going to now change the opacity of this so you can see what's inside of it, the sRGB space. So there, sRGB is inside of that. I'll toggle that on and off so that you get a better sense of where it is inside or not. So sRGB off, sRGB on, sRGB off, sRGB on. I'll now click off them and turn on Pro Photo and watch the ex how much larger the color space expands, almost to the limits of the LAB space. So what you're viewing now is the Pro Photo 3D. Again, 
you can see this inside one is the projection of the sRGB relative to that LAB space. I'll even give that a little opacity. And inside is the sRGB space. Now, to really get an expansive view, I'll click off Profoto and turn on ETRGB. You can see now that it's quite a bit expanded almost over the entire LAB space. So this is more meant as an instructional video to show how each of these color spaces in a 3D world relate to one another. Inside is the sRGB. That's the pro photo. I'll facet that actually. You'll see a little bit of chatter here. This is from just the video rendering. So finally, I'll go through each of these individually. There's the sRGB, Adobe RGB, Profoto, ETRGB. Comments and suggestions are welcome. <laughs>